folks, my name is Jason Claiborne I'm with Augustus Publishing and Street Literature Review Magazine. I'm here with my best selling author, Eric S. Gray, author of the Love and the Gangster, Crave All, Lose All, America's Soul, Booty Call, The Streets of New York, Volume 1, 2, and 3. Nasty girl, Simon, she's the so uh, one, so we got twin prints on the Augusta Publishing, Uptown Books, and Vibe Books, this is related with Vibe Magazine, our offices in 125th Street and Park, we got our own vending stations, we're distributed by Publishers Group West, uh, which is owned by Perseus, so we got national, really, really good distribution, we're in all the major chains, Target, Walmart, um, Barnes and Nobles, we used to be at Borders before they went out of business, but um, all right, sounds good. Tell me about uh, SLR. Street Literature Review was a magazine created um, for this genre, by this genre of urban fiction, hip-hop literature. We gave uh, authors a chance to, to, to speak about their book and their upcoming projects. We reviewed uh, all titles that were coming out and let people know, and it was just a, a vehicle for, for for readers, writers, and publishers to either advertise and, and let the market know. It's the only magazine of its kind. It's called SLR. You can check us out at streetlitreview.com. We're about to relaunch the magazine in November. I'm working with Nakia Murray, set down um, some advertisement and, and lock in you know, distribution for the magazine. But it was a grassroots homegrown magazine. And we did really well in the first three issues. We had to take a break though. It's kind of expensive to print magazines and books. So, but we figured it out. We're going back out again. Uh, switching distribution companies was the most difficult. You know, if you're an independent publisher, that, that put a stamp, on, uh, stop on your money for like seven or eight months. And then you got to deal with all the returns that come back. And we had, you know, we switched switch distribution companies with 20 titles. So we had titles coming back from all over the place. Um, budgeting yourself, your expectation of what a title should do and what it's actually going to do. You know, you're like, oh, I'm going to sell 20,000. Really, you know, a new author, you might sell three, 4,000. But, um, you know, don't print, don't overprint, don't overextend yourself. Those have been some of the, the challenges that we've had to survive to, you know, keep your cash flow at hand to keep going in any business, tours, things like BEA. You know, we keep it moving. We've done uh, lectures and talks for uh, the Learning Annex. You know, teach people how to get their book published, how to find a good editor, cover designer, what to do for distribution. And, uh, and we also create book trailers for our, for our books. Get video, book trailers, introduce the title, kind of give it like a cinematic feel. So those are the type of things that we do at Augustus to market and promote our books. And really it's the, the author's own step on the street is really what gets, you know, Eric Gray is well known because he's out there every day. He's doing all kind of signings. Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, um, read the tables up. I do, sign, I do 12 hours a day signings from like 8 to like 10 o'clock at night. You know, um, sometimes you got to talk to the people. You know, that's why I go out there, um, I mingle, like I said, um, the love the gangster, one life to live, booty call, no books sell really well in the street. You know, so we try to take it both ways, corporate and the streets. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep the you gotta keep the grassroots the street. We bring the literature to the hood and they don't expect the, the hood to come to the bookstores, we bring it direct. So you know, a lot of authors feel like they got a book out, that's it, it's done. And Eric is proof that he got ten books out and you gotta keep make your presence, make your presence felt. So you cannot be you cannot be lazy in this business. Mm -hmm. You gotta constantly grind, 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 cause like it's, it's, it's business. I mean it got a lot it got a lot of authors. They say it's saturated. So at the end of the day, the cream rises to the top, man, and it's your networking skill, and how you grind out there to the point where your name is getting known. And it takes time, it ain't gonna happen overnight. You know, it's a process. You know, you gotta build and build it. Uh, we've been building for like since 0405. We built this company out my living room, now we got an office in Harlem, you know what I'm saying? So, you gotta find out more about what you're doing. You can check us out on, at AugustusPublishing.com. You'll find all the information, book trailers, anything you need to know about our imprints, all about Augustus Publishing. You can find us on Facebook. You can find Eric Gray on Facebook or on our site, AugustusPublishing.com. You can check out the magazine, StreetLitReview.com. I've got to give you in the social, it's a social networking site for readers, writers, and publishers. I like to you put up chapters, you can put up, um, you know, um, your own little ad. It's free. You can go on there and become a member and, and associate with different authors, publishers, market your book through that. Um, I'd like to say thank you for AALBC.com giving us this little interview. AALBC.com, check them out too. So, thank you very much.